Hi, my name is Salim Hlayel, and I am a Principal Product Manager for the Oracle Application Express. In this video, we are going to talk about creating email campaign app with Oracle Application Express. We will utilize three features for Oracle Apex. We will create an interactive report and utilize its filtering capabilities. And then we will have an email template that we will be using to send emails to our customers. And we will be doing that using an API called apexregion.openqueryContext. Let's start by creating a data model for our email campaign application using Quick SQL tool. We will go to Quick SQL Workshop, Utilities, Quick SQL. We will copy a few lines for Quick SQL, which will allow us to generate SQL statements efficiently. I'm not going to explain the syntax for the Quick SQL code here, but you can refer to my blog post mentioned in the description for further useful links. Now we will go to settings and we will create object prefix cost. Since my database is 18C, I will change the compatibility property to 18C. Then I will hit save changes. Look at the SQL code generated by that quick SQL. We will save our SQL script. We will give it a name customers. Then we will review and run our generated SQL code. You should be able to see 103 successful statements. Now we will go to the app builder. We will create a new application. We will give it a name email campaign and we can change the appearance to red which I like. I will use the envelope icon, make it red color, save the changes and select all the features and then create the application. If we run our generated application now it will be basically empty. Let's spice it up by adding a region. We will create a region called interactive report. We'll give it a name, customers. And we will refer to the table that was generating, generated by our SQL code, cust customers. We will give it a static ID, customers, so we can refer to it from our SQL or NPL SQL later on. We can hide few columns that we don't want to see, like the ID. Then we will add a button to the interactive report, and we will call that button email campaign. If we run our application now, the page is populated by the interactive report and that button. We can filter for the gender, marital status and country. It will be great if we can target those customers for our campaign. Let's now create an email template. We'll click on Shared Components, Email Templates, and Create Email Template. We will give this template a name so we can generate a static identifier that we will be able to use later on to call the API. So if you call your template name New Year 2020 Promotion Dubai Branch, for example, you have your static identifier automatically generated. Let's have an email subject and a header of HTML, a body, and then finally a footer. All the HTML code can be available at my blog post. Now let's put plain text format. 
If you look at the items exclamation mark strip HTML, this is the way that we can strip all the HTML from the items item because it's a plain text format. If we open the body, you will see that I have items exclamation mark row because I want to pass HTML code here. I'm going to use rich text editor to populate this value. You can use sample templates that will save you time because you will have a sample HTML code. And then you can change them and tweak them to your needs. Before creating the email template, let's have a look at the sample API that we can use to call that template. Notice that we'll use a static ID or static identifier. If we go back to the app, let's create another page. We will make it blank. We'll call it send email and we will make it model dialog. In that page, we will create a region. We can give the title of send emails and the template will be blank with attributes. Now we will add two date fields two date pickers actually, two text fields, and one rich text editor. Let's call the first date picker start date. This is where my sale starts. The other one we will call it end date. And this is where my sale ends. Then we will have a text field called location. This is my branch that I'm having the promotion in. And the fourth field will be notes. So if I want to send any special notes to my customer, like while stocks last. Finally, the rich text editor, items. This is where I will pass HTML code to my template so I can have multiple items. We'll have a button to send the emails. We will call it send emails. space are not allowed in button names so we'll use underscore we will make the button stretch and we'll make it large then we will add one dynamic action when that button is clicked I want to be able to call a PL SQL code to send an email using the templates that we just created in the application Now, if we look at the code, the first query will get me the ID for the region based on its static ID of that report in page number one. I'll use that page ID and region ID to open query context. This is the function where it will get me the active SQL statements in that interactive report. Then I will loop through them and send an email for every customer that I have selected. Let's submit all the items in my form to that PL SQL code so I can reference them. And finally, I will create another true action to close the dialog since it's a model dialog. Now we need to make sure that 
the execution options, fire on initialization is not enabled. We don't want to have these actions initialized when the form is started, so make sure that they are not initialized. Okay, one final tweak we can do is to have the end date next to the start date. So the sale start and sale end will be next to each other. So let's drag it here and then save my form. Now let's go to page one and change the email campaign to point to the page or to the form that we just created. So now if we are on page one and we click email campaign, we will be able to go to the form. Now the good thing is whatever you filter here, you will be able to target in form two. So now we can have a start for our sale that will last almost one week and the location is Dubai branch and the note will be while stocks last and the items jeans shares and shoes then I can click send email and now if I check my email this is what I received, a New Year promotion coming from the system. Thank you for watching this video.